These five uh, semifinalists this year, uh, I mean, it's hard to be, it's hard to act like I'm competitive about it because, uh, uh, I mean, they're all incredible and they all deserve to win this thing. They all deserve to have huge careers in music. They're, they're amazing. I mean, nobody can watch the show this season and go, that's, they're only in there because of what, what, what. I mean, they're all amazing singers and they're great at what they do. And I don't think we've ever seen that at this point in the show. I think we've seen, uh, you know, we've always had somebody that's incredible, maybe two people that's incredible. But man, to have all five of them just be, you know, ready to be recording artists right now. I, I'm, I'm, haven't experienced that in seven seasons of doing this thing. Well, you kind of have to walk that line, you know. As a, as an artist, you know, you got to always stay true to yourself and record songs that mean something to you. And if you want to keep your record deal, uh, you know, keep in mind that you need to have some kind of success with this stuff, you know. I mean, you can't just be the only person that likes the music that you do if you want to have a career doing this thing. Uh, and so hopefully you find that right song that you love and that everybody else loves along the way. That's what we all hope for as artists. Uh, with Craig, uh, you know, it's as, as his coach, I always keep in mind, you know, what's, what's going to have an impact on, on iTunes. Uh, but more importantly, what's going to showcase him as a vocalist? Because we, you know, it's always hard to remember that iTunes is a very, very small percentage of, of the votes for this show. But it's also the only thing that we can look at every five minutes and go, "Oh my God, he's moved up a spot." You know what I mean? So it's easy to get wrapped up in, in that. But the truth is, it it's, it almost doesn't matter. It's such a small percentage. Uh, but it's just a, kind of an indicator. But as we've seen in the in the past seasons, that you know you really can't lean on that too hard uh, when it comes to the finale time. I love the the uh, the idea of, of Team Adam and versus Team Blake because uh, the reason I love it is because I know it uh, it worries Adam a, a little bit. Not because he's afraid of, of Craig. I'm, I know Adam loves Craig and, and would be happy, but he's just really sickened by the thought of having to hear about it from me.